Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2 or however the fuck you pronounce that in the last episode. I don't quite remember what we did, actually. And in this episode we're gonna... Do some more stuff. And now that they give us the tutorials about multiple missions, I believe. So now we've got... Two... Miss three missions? First of which is mandatory to eliminate the Watchers. Then we've got a Collect Heart mission and approve your Endurance mission. As you can see, this Collect Heart mission has quite a lot of rewards. A lot of treasure chests. And it's not mandatory. If I only do this one, I can move on with the story. So we're going to start off with doing this one. And then maybe do one of the other ones if I have got plenty of time. Uh, the third one actually only takes literally a minute. So I might do that one. Also, I will lower the volume in a second because this is ridiculously loud. <laughs> but yeah, I have to eliminate a certain amount of this... Well, this kind of heartless. I wanted to say nobody. No, we're not eliminating nobody. That'd be stupid. We're nobody's ourselves. So we have to eliminate, it looks like, maybe... Eight or so of them, I think. Eight seems reasonable. That's about one eighth. It might just be ten. I don't know. It probably said so in the mission description and I didn't read it because I'm lazy. We'll just go through the town and just annihilate every heartless. You see, I don't have to kill these dire plants. I want to point out. That's not a mission. It's just extra experience. The mission is just... Specifically, eliminate these watches. Everything else you kill, just for fun. You don't have to do it for the mission. You can just skip every other Heartless. So, after killing the third one, we're gonna be just on the halfway done. So, it's gonna be eight of them, because after the next one, it might actually just be seven. Possibly seven. Yeah. There's four more left there. Yeah, this is gonna be all of it. I'm quite sure. But they're annoying because there's a lot of them and... Oh, fuck. Then again, I'm gonna have my limits in a second if I get hit like one more time. So that's a good thing. Also, not picking up chests. I probably should, shouldn't I? Let's pick up this chest. It's an iron. I don't know what iron is. I think it's a synthesis material, which... We're gonna get into that at some point in the near future, I believe. Not quite yet. Maybe in the next day. And within the next day, I mean after completing all the optional missions. Which we're not gonna be completing the optional missions if you didn't pick up on that yet. Uh, let's pick this up. Let's pick that up. So that's everything this mission had to offer. That literally took us three minutes. I'm thinking... Well, might have taken a little bit longer. I'm thinking maybe do both optional missions and then move on with the story. I could also just move on with the story. That's a real possibility as well. And I feel like I'm just going to do that. Because the mission I wanted to possibly do... Takes a minute. And by the time we get back to the castle, five minutes will have passed. It's probably going to be a cutscene as well. Which means about seven minutes or eight minutes and then we can do like one more mission possibly. And then we're going to have a 17 or so minute episode, which seems reasonable. Seems really reasonable actually. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do the optional mission. I hope you guys don't mind too much. I've grinded up actually... Between episodes and I'm level 4 now, maybe I was already level 4 last episode. It's been a couple of days since I recorded these, so I don't remember. I don't know if that's an HD cutscene or not. I'm gonna be honest. So, nothing really happens today, seeing as how we can just 
go to Soyx and say, well, we want to do one of these two missions, which we don't want to do. So we can press advance and we just advance a couple of days in the calendar. And we move on with the story. And now a new entry has been added in Madari and still no Moogle. Let's go talk to Soyx and see what he has planned for us today. Roxas, today's mission is mandatory. I've assigned Axel to assist you. Eliminate the Guardian. Will do. I'll do that for sure. Okay, now let's get this done fast. What's today's this target again? A Guardian? Uh, oh yeah, I think so. Are you such a zombie? You are such a zombie. That wasn't a question, that was a statement. Want to have all the full... well, um... Stuff, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> Somebody's figuring something out and... I... Again, don't really care. I just figured out, by the way, in my options that I am recording this at 30 FPS. Because fuck 60 FPS, especially this game. This game doesn't run at 60, that's stupid. I could record it at 60 though. <laughs> that would be hilarious. It's apparently this um, is displaying at 60 FPS. But it's probably just copy pasting every other frame. I must admit, because... Or, well, not admit, I must, uh, guess. Because this game doesn't run at 60 FPS, no fucking way. I don't think there's any DS games that run at 60 fucking frames per second. That seems a bit, bit too much. Then again, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald run at 60 FPS, and that was GBA. I mean, it was horribly uh, graphics-wise, but then again, this game is... For a DS game, actually really good graphics-wise. I shouldn't say this is a horrible graphics-wise, because it's not. But there might be games that run at 60 frames per second on the Nintendo DS. I'm not sure. There might be. If you guys know that, by the way, leave it in the comment section down below, because I'm intrigued. I might just get a game that runs at 60 FPS and play that for a Let's Play, just because it runs at 60 frames per second. Seems a bit redundant, yeah, because I... I don't know. I would like to do a Let's Play in 60 FPS. And rendering it would take twice as long, though. Theoretically speaking. I don't know, maybe it's a little bit quicker because the frames are more similar. So the encoding can uh, reuse a lot of pixels, I guess. But it would take at least like 60% longer, I want to say. Maybe twice as long. It would take longer in general. I don't know how much longer. It would take longer, though. And rendering is already something that doesn't go very, very quickly. Maybe when I get my new CPU, I'll be able to render something at a decent pace. Maybe I'll be able to render something... ...like in 1080p. Maybe I'll move to 1080p if I can render quickly enough. Because 720p is... ...honestly... Not that high a resolution anymore. For DS games though, really good enough. And my PlayStation games, I record in 1080i, so record, uh, uploading those in 1080p seems like a bad idea as well. But maybe PC games, which I can play, I can record and upload in 1080p. Not yet though. When I've upgraded my CPU, and I might want to upgrade my graphics card as well if I'm going to be able to do that. We'll see. For the time being, I'm not going to be upgrading anything. Unless I get money from somewhere. And I need to upgrade my CPU first. Then my graphics cards. Also, why is this not going up? No, seriously, how is this not... What the actual fuck is happening here? Oh. 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 Well, that's stupid. That's legitimately stupid. 
I don't know how long this mission is gonna take, because this seems like it's artificial length added onto a mission. Which means it might take a little bit longer, which means that this episode might be a little bit longer, which I was prepared for. Why am I even fighting these Heartless? That's my question. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be that much longer, actually. Well, I'm throwing out... Uh, I'm using a potion, actually. And then I'm picking up the loaded gear, because it's a new gear and might actually be a really good one. I think that's the same color, so that should maybe... Yeah, lift that one as well. And this hardware over here, I just saw that. I was gonna say, they disappeared? Just didn't respawn at all? They did. Of course they did. But yeah, we might be getting a new Keyblade. Depending on how good that loaded gear we just got is. But yeah, you want to open chests because... Especially this early in the game, you can find gears in it which are worthwhile. Up this way, Roxas. Right. Most useless piece of dialogue. But yeah, you can find gears in it that are worthwhile, and I don't know that you can... No, you can't. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know that you can change a mid-mission. You can't at all. Later on in the game, you'll only be able to buy gears that are worthwhile. And maybe get them as mission rewards, but mainly you're gonna be able to buy and... ...pretty much synthesize them, actually. I don't think you can buy that many good gears. Most of them you have to synthesize. I believe it's been a while since I played this game. But early on in the game, open up some chests, maybe you'll find a good gear or two. Maybe this one is not worth it, by the way. I'm not saying it's definitely worth it. Maybe it's a horrible gear, and maybe it's even worse than the Kingdom Key. Probably won't be that bad, though. And that's our Guardian. Using one limit on it will probably kill. That's our target. Here we go, Roxas. Keep your head out of the clouds. I'll try. Rox said, right, I say I will try. Guardian, lock on. He's got twice the amount of HP and oh, he deals a lot of damage. Then again, he doesn't have a huge defense either. We only have to kill this one. The, not the Guardian, the Watchers aren't that big a deal. And that's the mission complete. It might just automatically get rid of those. Mission accomplished. I gotta say, man, you've come a long way in just a handful of days. Yeah, just considering I skipped some of them as well. Are you ready to head back? Yeah. I'm gonna miss this ice cream thing we do. Huh? Gonna be away for a while. Starting tomorrow. Really? I can fill you in since we're friends. I'm gonna be at Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? The organization's got a second castle in the world between worlds. It's called Castle Oblivion. Got it memorized? I wish somebody told me these things. Hmm. Well, I gotta head back and get ready. Nothing but fun, fun, fun. Yeah, that was definitely an HD cutscene, because that winner thing comes back so much. Oh, double cast, that's actually a good thing. And the loaded gear, I believe it's a decent gear. Axel, I have a message from Lord Xemnas. Among the members assigned to Castle Oblivion, there are traitors. Find them. And dispose of them. I trust... that really came from Lord Xemnas himself? Hey, Axel? If you're looking for Axel, he's gone. What do I do with this? 
Well, double cost. I'll show you that next episode. Until then, do not forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed this video, which hopefully you have. I've been vlogging, you've been awesome. As always, bye. Uh, what, what happened to my screen? My screen went black. Seriously? Oh, bye. Yeah, that's the thing. Bye.